Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this video, I would discuss the article review assignment that you will be doing over the course of my classes. And this does apply to all of my classes here. Now I assign three article reviews during the semester. So there'll be three dates that they are assigned article reviews one, two and three. And I'll go over the instructions here in just a minute. And what you want to look at is that I only take your two highest of the three grades. Now what that means if if you do the first two of them, and you're comfortable with those grades, you feel like you did fine, you can skip the third one, you'll get a zero on it, and it will be your lowest grade and will be dropped. If for any reason you have to skip one of the first two or don't do well on it, the third one is then your opportunity to make that up and improve your grade. So either way, the third review can't hurt your grade, but it can certainly help you, especially if you missed one or did poorly on one. Now, what we will do for this is that I am providing a list of articles from you for which you can select. They're from Sky and Telescope magazine over the last year, and you can go through and see if there is which ones happen to interest you. And you did, some of these will tie into the class, others will cover other topics. So you might be taking planetary astronomy and choose to do something on galaxies. Or you may be doing stellar astronomy and choose to do something on one of the planets. Those are both perfectly fine. It does not have to tie into the class, although you are welcome to do so. The final write up should be about three pages long is, is a typical guide. Now, the instructions here, there are a few parts to this. I look at, first of all, your reason for selecting. Write me a paragraph discussing what caught your attention. Did it tie into something from that you remember from when you were younger? Did it tie into something that you heard about from the class? Is it something that maybe you heard, heard about on the news? And just why did you pick the article? Give me some details as to why you were interested in this specific subject. Second is to summarize the article. So one to two paragraphs is usually sufficient here. I don't need a detailed rundown of the entire entire paper. Summarize the main points of this. And then I'm looking for your analysis. What did you think of the article? Now when I say analysis, I'm looking at your thoughts on the article. How how well did the authors do of making you able to understand the material of getting their points across? I'm not looking at you looking for you to uh, analyze it scientifically and critique the science that is done. So I'm really looking for what you thought. What were the good and bad points of the article? Were some things not explained well enough and leave you left you lost? Or were there some did they do a really good job of explaining certain things? So those are some ideas of how you can look at that. Finally, I ask you to come up with three questions. So as you're reading the article, you can jot down some ideas of things that you can put here. What could have been clarified? What might you want to ask this author if you could sit down and talk to them to explain something a little bit better, perhaps, or to expand on something that you'd like to know more about? So discuss that and then discuss why, what, what is important about those articles. Now, parts two, three and four here should all be the similar one to two paragraphs. They're going to be similar in size. They're all worth 10 points, as you can see there. So you don't want to do a really detailed summary that covers two pages worth and then just do a short couple sentences for the analysis and the questions. You're going to want them to be comparable. You want to go into detail on each of those parts since they are equally weighted. Now, this is an actual formal write up. I don't require any specific um, format for it, except that I don't want it numbered. I don't want it bulleted. I don't want you to write number one where here's why I picked the article number two summary of the article. It should just be a regular write up. What I do ask you to use is a header. So as on here where I have things like instructions, and procedures that those are just it tells me where each part of the review is meant to start. So you'll want to do something like that. And if you don't have to follow exactly as I have them on the assignment sheet here, you could have something centered over the middle if you wanted, you could have it as a separate line, just something that allows me to see the difference as to where you intend each section of your review to be.
I do require a minimum of two full pages. That's why I say three pages. You want to get on to that third page because you're not going to say enough if you have not gotten onto that third page. Now, I'm not just looking at the length of the, what you've written, I'm, uh, length of what you wrote. I'm actually looking at what you did write. So if you just use a larger font or really long margins, that's not going to consider that that's going to say enough still. I'm looking that you actually got the content in for this assignment. Now finally we can take a quick look at the rubric that will be used to grade this. I'm looking at all of these different sections for the reason, the summary of the article, the analysis, your questions for thought, and your writing format. So you can receive 10 points for full credit for each of these. If something is doing pretty good but you're missing some things, you're going to get, you'll get six points for that section. And if it really needs a lot more work, that would be three points. And if you don't include one point, of course, you would get zero for that section of it. So that's the rubric that will be used to grade these uh, assignments once you, once you submit them. So this concludes this lecture video on the article review assignment that you will be doing. I'll be back again next time to discuss some more of the materials for the class for you. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.